How does adoption of biotech corn spread in the Filipino community, like Barangay Surkok in Nagilian, Isabela? Biotech corn was first introduced in a farmer class conducted by a technician from a seed company. Elisa, Marisa, Alfredo, Roger, Renato, and Rodolfo were participants in that class and the early adopters of biotech corn in the community. Marisa was undecided to adopt biotech corn, but when her mother-in-law Elisa started planting it, she was encouraged to try it too. They were both successful. This encouraged Jenny, a fellow farmer, to also try planting biotech corn. Most of the participants in the farmer class were also members of a cooperative. Roger, Renato, Alfredo, and other cooperative members learned about biotech corn and started planting it. The cooperative provided loan to farmers and also bought their corn to be sold. Marcelino, Rogelio, and other farmers also adopted biotech corn after they were convinced by relatives, friends, and neighbors. Farmers then passed on their knowledge, observations, and experiences to their siblings, parents, and co-farmers in adjacent farms. Joel, who learned about biotech corn from an adjacent farm, also adopted the crop after borrowing capital from a trader. In Surkok, information on biotech corn was initiated by seed technicians from private companies. Farmers shared the information and benefits to relatives and friends who were also into farming. These were further supported by endorsement of seed suppliers and traders, thereby helping the spread of biotech corn in the community.